Thank you and welcome back as always. So I'm back with another video. Happy April. I hope everyone is having a good month so far. And I do hope that this is a good month for you. I hope you reach all your goals. And I just hope that this is a really good month. I'm excited for the new month. I'm always excited when it's a new month because I just feel like I just got more time to reach my goals. So yes, happy April. I just wanted to let y'all know that. But if you read by the title today, we're going to do an updated 2022 hygiene haul. I did post a hygiene haul last year and I also um, did a fall hygiene haul and y'all pretty much like those type of videos. So I'm back again with the 2022 updated hygiene haul. So I do got some new items that I'm using. I do have some of the same items that I use because some items I'm just going to always use. But I do have some new items I'm going to show you all. So if you're interested in seeing what I use, just stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I'm going to start off with skincare. I do have a skincare routine, so I'm going to link that video below so you can go watch that. I did go over these products in that video, but in case you did not see that video, which you need to go watch that video, but I'm just going to go over my skin routine. Um, and all the items that I have, I pretty much get them off Amazon because I'm lazy, but you can get these at any type of Walmart, Target, CVS, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, well, not Dollar Tree, some from Dollar Tree, but y'all get what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start with skincare and we're just going to go ahead and get into it. For skincare, I've been using the CeraVe skincare so this is the face wash and this is the face moisturizer i really do like this y'all know my last one i was using um the cocoa butter line which i really did like that as well but this is a new skincare that i've been hearing about so i really wanted to try it and so far so good so um yep this is the hydrating facial cleanser and then this is the daily moisturizer lotion i also use this as a primer for my makeup as well so yeah it's like a two for one and i just love the really cute packaging that's for my face and then i'm also using the CeraVe eye repair cream um i mentioned in my skincare routine video that i just always wanted to use the eye cream i always heard really good things about it so when i seen that um CeraVe had an eye cream yes i had to hop on it because I'm the type of person when I'm doing a skin routine I like everything to be by the same brand just so I can kind of know like if I really like it or not so my face wash my moisturizer and my eye cream is all by CeraVe I got the Dickinson's hydrating toner this is also from Amazon as well I'll link that below but I've been loving this out of all toners this is the best toner that I ever use because a lot of time back in the day when I used to use toners it was real harsh it made my eyes kind of water this one is really not that harsh um and yeah it's real hydrating another thing about toners that i did not like was that it leave your skin really dry but this one is actually a hydrating toner so i like this i really do like this and i've seen a lot of people on youtube use this so i was kind of excited to get that as well and for my toner i use these face sponges this is the cotton rounds i got this off amazon as well i just be looking at random stuff um the brand is called the body shop and the last thing for skin i'm going to show y'all is my cocoa butter skin therapy oil i did put this in my last haul and i'm still using this i love this this is probably one of the best face oils i ever used y'all it's so good like yeah i'm running low if you can see yeah i need another one but yes so that's what i've been using on my skin like i said i do have a skin routine so you need to go check that out okay period but yeah let's just go ahead and move on to lips all right so for lips um i've always like tried different lip scrubs because i don't know i just feel like i want a lip scrub and when i buy them i just never can really 
find what I'm looking for until I found this. So this is the Chapstick Total Hydration Lip Scrub. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Chapstick is known for lips. So the fact that they had a lip scrub, I had to get it. And this is kind of how it looks. And the texture is so soft. It's kind of like a whipped, like a whipped cream type texture. I thought it was going to be like real hard. You know, like most lip scrubs are. But it's such a good texture. The scent is like a mint scent. So it just, I love mint. I love mint gum and I love mint. So this is like pretty much just a minty chapstick but it's a lip scrub so this has been really 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 good i do recommend this one um it leaves my lips really like hydrating so i think i found the one y'all because i've been searching for a good lip scrub or whatever and i think i found like my one because i really do like that the texture is actually my favorite part it's so like it's so soft i really can't explain it but it's kind of like whip like a whip body cream body butter is kind of giving those type vibes instead of like most lip scrubs be kind of like you know hard because it's a scrub so yeah all right so still on lips i got this dove derma spa oxygen touch it is a reviving lip polish um i was real excited to try this because i never knew dove made lip products dove make everything and if you know you know dove is one of the best brands there is so i had to get on this and it's kind of like a lip gloss kind of it's like a car mix too and it's actually not a lip scrub but when you put it on your lips it does feel like a lip scrub so i, I had to reread it i'm like wait is this a lip scrub but no it's pretty much a lip moisturizer um i keep this in my purse with me and yeah it's really really moisturizing it leaves my lips really like luscious and glowy i love this so far at first i was a little confused because like i said when you do put it on your lips it does come out as like a lip scrub texture which was weird but you know you just kind of keep rubbing it in rubbing your lips together and it'll leave your lips with a nice little glow so yeah i had to hop on that because dove never disappoint i don't think dove has ever led me in the wrong direction so yeah i like that and to finish up my lips y'all know i think i've been i think i added this in my own um, last hygiene haul but you can never go wrong with vaseline i mean i keep this by my bed i keep a small one in my purse you just never can go wrong with vaseline i feel like vaseline is just one of those holy grail products that everybody have forever i've had this for a little minute too it's a pretty big tube and i just you know after i'm done with my lip scrub at nighttime i always use this this is definitely a part of my lip routine and yeah can't go wrong with vaseline i just feel like it's vaseline so yeah that's all for lips so let's go ahead and get into teeth so um i got a tongue scraper i mean i've seen this all over tiktok so i really just wanted one and me and my friend was talking about it so she actually ordered us one so this is a tongue scraper and let me take it out i haven't even used this yet but yeah this is the tongue scraper and you know you just Scrape your tongue with it or whatever when you're brushing your teeth. So I'm excited to use this because why not? Why not? That's just something else that TikTok made with your girl use. Yeah, that was that. So let's go ahead and jump to the deodorant. So to deodorant, this is probably one item that I'm never really gonna change. As y'all know, I love swab. This is the powder. This is the only one that I like, and this is pretty much just a basic swab they do have other um scents and stuff but i just stick to powder because it just smells so good and it smells really clean so that's been my favorite deodorant for a long time but i also been using this which is the dove nourishing secrets spray deodorant that my best friend put me on because it smells so good it really smells like a perfume and i ain't gonna lie i be spraying it like on my arm and stuff because it really smells really good now this is something that i just started using last year but this is something that I've been using for a long time. So these two together, they just hit in. I can see that I'm always going to want this specific one. So like I said, my deodorant probably is never going to change. So in my next haul, you're going to see both of these. But these are just my favorite deodorants. I love the powder swab. I just feel like I don't really need all the extra when it comes to like different scents with deodorants. I just need something clean powder and baby powder that type of scent is my favorite i don't know i just feel very clean with that scent so yeah and that dove one it's just it smells so good like 
and um, it has like a brown top. I don't really have the top now, but it has a brown top because I know it's a lot of different scents with this one, but it seems like this one is always hard to find when I go into the stores and I haven't seen this online either. So yeah, but it does have a brown top. So if you're in the store and you see a brown top, you gotta get it. It's definitely given. All right, so let's move on to my favorite part, which is body wash. Okay, so I do have some new body washes from my last haul. Um, I'm going to start with this one, which I don't know if you know, if you know, you know, but this is called Skin So Soft. I actually just got this yesterday. Um, it's by Avon. This is a brand that like I've known since I was little because my grandma used to order from Avon and she used to have Skin So Soft, which she used to have the body oil and it used to smell so freaking good. So when I see in the body wash, I'm like, I have to get this. It smells so good. I haven't used it yet, but oh my god, I'm so excited. I got two of these, and I don't know if you can get a one online. I don't know, but I got this at the flea market. They were selling it, so, but I think they did have a website. But if you know about Skin So Soft, you know that it's just, it smells so good, and it leaves your skin real soft or whatever. So I had to cop that, because one thing about it, I love a good body wash, so yeah, we definitely had to get that. But I also got the Nivea Nourishing Body Wash. Um, this is Bot Botanical Blossom. So it's definitely giving the girls spring. This is my first time even ever try trying Nivea, period. I never tried none of their products. I'm loving this body wash so far. This is my favorite body wash. If you don't know, I'm more of a vanilla scent girl. Like. My vibe is always like fall scents. I love vanilla, I love oats and all of that. I really don't um, like floral floral body washes, but this one smells so good. It's not really too floral. It kind of gives me more of like a clean scent, but yes, it smells so good. Like this is definitely one that I have to keep getting. Honey. And I'm probably gonna have the pictures of all the products right here. Um, so y'all can see that. I hope I'm not going too fast either. But yes, I'm really loving this um, body wash and it leaves my skin feeling really soft. One thing I don't like is body washes that strip the hydration of my skin. And I've dealt with that in the past dealing with cheaper body washes. So when it comes to a body wash, I mean, you just got to spend it. Even though this was not a lot of money. I think this was like $5. And like I said, I got most of these items off Amazon just because I didn't feel like going to different stores and seeing if they had them. I just rather type it and put it in the cart. So yeah, I think this was like $5. So that's really not that much. All right, moving on to the next body wash, which is the last body wash is the OGX Hydration Sea Kelp and Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. So... With this body wash, I was really looking for one that gave me more like a scrub vibe, which this definitely do. It's not really as harsh as a body scrub, but it does have those, you know, little specks in there. And I like this. Sea kelp. I don't know. The smell. It smells like sea kelp. I don't even know what sea kelp is, but it does give me like green. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about the smell, but I did use a little of this in the shower. It was okay. I love the texture of it. I love that it really made my skin feel like I was exfoliating with the body wash. So I was really feeling those vibes. I just don't know how I feel about the smell. But then again, like I told y'all, I really like vanilla scents and this is different. But I wanted to try more like spring scents for this haul. So I don't know. I'll get back to y'all with how I feel this but it's honestly not a bad smell um it's really not a bad smell i just have to get used to it it's really not what i'm used to but i really love the color i love the packaging and i love how it did make my skin feel when i um used it so you know we're gonna keep this around we're gonna see what it does or whatever so yeah that was all for body wash so now let's go into shape and cream all right so if you have not seen my last hygiene haul i did talk about an eel shaving cream that i had i think the the scent was like a vanilla scent like i said i love vanilla scents but this is a new scent this is the eos evolution of smooth shea butter shave cream and it's in the scents pomegranate raspberry so i'm very excited um to use this one i have not used this yet either but i'm very excited to use this because i actually do only use like vanilla scents so with this one i was really excited to get like a more 
floral fruity type scent and the packaging is cute one of my favorite colors is pink so i had to get this so i'm gonna definitely let y'all know how this go but it's pretty much the same as my other one that i showed y'all um it comes out as like a lotion it's like a shower lotion shaving cream or whatever and yeah it's known to moisturize as well as shave so yeah we love a good moisturized you know body and it's springtime you know we wearing less and going out more so it's all about having your body real moisturized so this actually is a 24 hour moisture it has shea oil shea butter and it's a shea plus and shower lotion it works wet and dry so you can do it either way but i prefer to just shave in the shower just get it all over with while i'm in there so i'm very excited to try this one i'm still using my other one that's why i haven't tried this one yet but i am vacating really soon so i'm definitely gonna be using this like this weekend probably so yeah i'll let y'all know how i like this one as well but i love the other one so i can already recommend this one so yeah all right so next we're going to my second favorite part which is moisturizing i mentioned earlier i did get some skin so soft from the avon lady i got the body wash and i also got the body oil this is just very nostalgic for me this is something that my grandma used to use my mom used to use and i just used to always steal my mom's and i really do love this i love this smell and it's just a bath oil spray it actually came with the spray bottle um she gave it to us separate or whatever but yeah it's like an oil and like i said i am vacating soon so oils was very 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 much needed um so i'm very excited for this and this is just something that you can use inside the shower a lot of body oils you can use inside the shower so you can really have that gliss when you come out or you can just use it after the shower um i like to use these type of oils after i shave or just period after i'm getting out of the shower if i'm really feeling myself i'll just oil my whole body up or whatever so yeah this is definitely 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 a must like i said i don't know if they have avon online but hopefully they do because this is like an og like if you never heard of skin so soft you gotta ask your parents about this i promise they're gonna know but yeah this i'm so excited to use this so moving on to another oil which is the cocoa butter moisturized body oil y'all i had to get this like i said i am vacating very soon so that's why i bought this but as you can see i've been using it already i've been loving this from like in the shower or right after the shower and i'll just mix it with some lotion which you really don't even need lotion with this but when you mix it with lotion and just layer it y'all it gives the body a nice glow it just it's given so i love cocoa butter because my as i showed y'all earlier my face oil is also cocoa butter and just brands like this i feel like you just can't go wrong they've been around for a long time and they just have never disappointed so i'm very excited to be on the beach i ain't gonna tell y'all too much but i'm just very excited to be outside with this oil on on the cheeks on the legs on the arms everywhere okay so yeah it definitely gets you some body oil sis like we have to stay hydrated we have to really take care of our skin and sometimes it's good to layer layer your lotion and your oils why not why not so yeah i would definitely recommend this i also got some new lotion so this is the nivea original body lotion daily moisture 48 hour i hear so much good things about this lotion um i heard that it's a good dupe if you've heard about the fenty body butter i heard this is a really good dupe um so far i'm in love with this lotion it's very 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 moisturizing and i'm gonna mix these two together when i'm i've been mixing these two already but when i'm outside you know this spring this summer i'm gonna be mixing these two because i feel like that's gonna give me the glow that i want it's gonna be like a whole new glow so yes so far i like this lotion and that's another reason why i bought the nivea body wash because like i said i love to use the same brand with certain things and if you use like for instance i use the nivea body wash in the shower come out and use that nivea lotion i just feel like those two are a good mixture it's good to layer things up and before you put on your perfume put on your lotion so that scent can just stick to your skin so yeah this is definitely a 
10 out of 10 so far. I don't know why I never used Nivea. Like, it's been around. I just never really used it. I was more of a Jerkins girl, which I still love Jerkins, but I was excited to try a new lotion because why not? I get excited about these type of things. So yeah, that Nivea and this cocoa butter oil. Baby, it's look like a sloppy day. All right, so moving on to my last moisturizing product. This is the Palmer Shea Butter Body Balm. I just love Palmer's. This whole haul is pretty much Palmer's. But this is a pretty much like a body butter, well, like a body balm. So this is how it looks. I'm just gonna do like a little demonstration. It's kind of like cocoa butter in its tube and it really gives your body like that good shine, if y'all can see that. And I didn't even put that much on. So this is something that I'm also gonna be, you know, putting on. I'm just gonna be moisturized. So if y'all see me out and I'm ashy, just slap me because I have no reason to be ashy because all of these moisturizers that I have for my body is it's given in. It smells so good. See, this doesn't smell like basic cocoa butter because it is um, the shea butter formula. And let me see which scent is this. Well, I guess raw shea butter is the scent, but oh my God, this smells so good. And just look at the shine that it got my hands. I'm just gonna show you. This hand does not have any product. This one do, and you can just see the difference. I'm so excited. I just want to be oiled up on somebody, bitch. But yes, so those were my moisturizing products. So we're pretty much almost done. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into my body scrub. All right, so this is my Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in the flavor Tropical Mango. So I'm, I've been trying, I actually tried this before. This is actually the only Tree Hut product that I've used because I've ordered this like a, a year ago, probably. I'm really, I'm really not like a big exfoliator, which I know I needed to start, but it's crazy. Every time I order Tree Hut, I get this flavor. I don't know why. Maybe this is the only flavor that Amazon be having, but it seems like I always get this flavor, but I really do love um, this scent. It smells so freaking good. And I mean, this is a no brainer. This is a very popular brand when it comes to um, body scrubs and it has not disappointed me. I do want to try other um, scents, but so far this one has been my favorite because this is the only one that I always get. But yes, I've been using this lately. I've been really getting more into exfoliating and I've also got this exfoliating glove, which I did um, purchase this off Amazon as well. This is the exfoliating hemming glove by natural by natural elephant that's the name of it and yeah it's pretty much just the glove you put it on and you just get to exfoliate and baby this ain't nothing to play with because i used to just exfoliate with my hands but i'm like you know what no i need to do this the right way and this glove is no joke like it really be getting all the dead skin off i be feeling it so i've been loving this combo with my glove and my exfoliator and yeah so i need to use some well i need to buy some different scents of this tree hood because i think i'm gonna just stick to this brand if you have any other body scrubs that you can recommend please leave them below and if there's any flavors that i'm sleeping on please leave that below as well because i'm very interested in seeing what other flavors that they have i'm saying flavors like it's food but y'all know what i mean scents so yeah i'm very um curious to see what other scents they have that i might like um which i'm surprised i like this one because i usually don't like fruity scents but i really do like this one so yeah this um hygiene hog is definitely giving spring it's definitely giving more floral more fruity and i'm here for it okay i'm here for it because i'm a vanilla bitch i ain't gonna lie i'm a vanilla bitch but yeah so so going to show y'all my feminine wash i did put this in my last video this is the honey pot sensitive foaming wash um this is so anytime you see the blue packaging it's always going to be sensitive i just stick to the sensitive ones i know they do have other scents which i pretty much trust honey pot but i just stick stick to sensitive still and i love this i love this i love this i love this ever since i bought this last year i've been using this one this is a very popular 
<laughs> one it's always sold out i never really can find this in stores um but i did find this at walmart so definitely check your local walmart your target and also honeypot.com they have a lot of things online so i do recommend going online because they might have more things online than they do in store so yes honeypot like they said it's made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas sis if you're still using summer's eve no look no we're not doing that it's plenty pot babe and it's black owned so it's pretty much a no-brainer but i stand by these products i also had their um their panty spray which is like panty spray you can spray it on your foot your armpits i love that spray as well but i ran out and i did not read up on that so i definitely gotta get some more of that all right so we're almost done with this haul um I thought I had more stuff in this, but I guess not. But honestly, when I do these hauls, I have so many products in my house for so long. Like, I still have products from my last fall haul because I bought so many body washes that I didn't even get to use all the way. So, yeah. One thing I am is obsessed with body washes. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this haul with my scents, my fragrances. So, this is my Moonlight Path by Bath & Body Works. I did include this one in my last haul i'm gonna include this one in every haul that i ever do because this is my favorite scent by bath and body works this is mostly the scent that i like to spray when i get out the shower or if i'm just running somewhere that's like i don't really want to wear perfume but this is mainly like my out of my shower routine because it just smells like baby powder and it just gives me that fresh scent and it gives me that clean scent and i love it so if you haven't tried this this really smells like clean baby powder that's really how i can explain it so this is definitely like just like a light scent it's not a heavy perfume but i do get a lot of compliments when i put this on because it smells like baby powder so if you just take your shower you just moisturize put on all your lotions all your moisturizers i always finish it off with this honey this is a part of my whole nightly routine honey or period my shower routine i love this so much and i'm never ever gonna trade on this so yes you might have um all right so let's move on to perfumes so this is one of my favorite perfumes i've been wearing which is the girl i got this for my birthday and y'all i'm heavy on stuff so i'm pretty much almost used this whole bottle and my birthday was in january but this smells so good let's just look at the packaging the packaging alone sold me but this is actually such a nice smell it just gives me more grown woman i've really been trying to like pick up on my perfume collection i'm really trying to get more into perfume so eventually i'll be giving y'all the perfume haul designer perfume haul or just period perfume haul so yeah but this this has been my girl this has been my girl so yeah let's get to the very last but you know not least ebony wood this is still my fave i did include this in my fall haul and this is still my fave scent i actually had to re-up my best friend actually had to buy me a new one because i had sprayed all of mine and look i still have been very heavy with this but this is from zara i'm pretty sure we all know about ebony wood at this point kyra Armani literally put the world on like that's an influencer right there because she influenced everybody to go buy this perfume and it was definitely worth it and it's very cheap this bottle was 35 dollars, and this is some rich bitch perfume i'm telling you i get compliments every time i wear this perfume and this is like the this is probably my everyday perfume and i still be getting compliments from my friends like girl y'all smelled this yesterday but yes you can't go wrong with this it's 35 dollars. it smells like a high-end luxury brands can never go wrong with ebony wood so this is still one of my favorite scents i'm excited to try different um fragrances as well so if you do have any designer perfumes that you would like me to try or you really recommend leave them below as well my next purchase definitely needs to be the valentino perfume the pink one the studded um case i gotta get that because i smelled that and it smells so freaking good so definitely um leave your recommendations 
all right besties so we've come to an end i really do hope you guys enjoyed this hygiene haul it's definitely giving spring hygiene haul it's definitely giving moisturized baddie you know on a beach so if y'all do um like any of these items i will leave everything linked below in the description comment what was your favorite item or just something that you really might want to try after this also i want everybody to leave your favorite hygiene products in the comments below and i just might try one of your faves because i mean you never can have so many hygiene items and i'm down to try any new ones so again thank y'all so much for watching again happy april and this is gonna be a very good month y'all gonna be seeing my face a lot trust me and i love y'all so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video bye besties